Hello lovelies, I am here to make another VR, uh, this time to uh, Don Michelle uh, at Boho Tarot and her hearth and home decks. Uh, I thought that it sounded like it would be a super fun prompt um, for this time of year. And I was so excited to do it, in fact, that when I was watching her video, I grabbed whatever was closest, which happened to be a piece of tissue, and I just, I wrote all the decks that first came to my mind. Uh, and later I thought of some other ones that might have been uh, maybe better, but I decided to stick with the ones that just flew into my mind, my excited little mind, uh, as I watched Don uh, Michelle's video. So, without further ado, uh, let's start. One of the prompts was your fa uh, friends and family deck. So a deck that reminds you of friends and family. And so I chose the Fox Arcana cards uh, because this is a collaboration deck. So each card is done by a different person. And that just makes me think of friends and family, how we're all really different, uh, but we fit together in, in life somehow. Uh, some of the cards in this deck are also associated with songs, and music often uh, reminds me of, of friends as well, and triggers certain memories that I've had with family. Uh, this deck also reminds me of other decks, which is kind of fun and funny. Uh, like this one reminds me of, I think it's the King of Cups in the Sasarabito. This one makes me think of the the Neon Tarot, which I don't have, but still it brings that one to mind. So, oh, this one. This one reminds me of the Modern Witch. Just like some of them in the art style, um, or the way the pictures are depicted. But it's also... It just highlights how, you know, these people are so different and they're drawn in different styles, um, in different worlds maybe even, but, you know, somehow they all connect together. Sorry, this one reminds me of the Pagan Otherworlds. So, yep, this is my choice for friends and family. The Vox Arcana. Another prompt was your harvest or bonfire deck. And the one I chose for this is the Pagan Otherworlds because it just makes me think of the fall season. I don't know what it is, the coloring, the kind of sparseness in the miners but it just gives me that kind of feeling. Like, I can imagine wanting, you know, to start a bonfire in this image and just enjoy, enjoy the night. <laughs> maybe not with him. <laughs> uh, here, it could also be the choice of animals, maybe. But it just looks like a warm little fire would make this deck, or, you know, this world, very nice and cozy. So, for the Harvest Bonfire uh, prompt, we had the Pagan Otherworlds. The next prompt I have written down here is like a homespun or a homemade deck. The first thing that came to mind was the Embroidered Forest Tarot. And that's because this whole uh, deck is photographs of um, embroidery. So these are actually, these were all created um, by embroidering and then they were photographed. So it's very homemade in that sense. Uh, Oops, what am I doing? Here, let's just do this. Uh, the amount of time it must have taken to do this. You can see 
here closer to detail. If it focuses, meh. Nah. That's all embroidered. And then of course you have the extra gold on top embossed on top of it, and they're unique in in every card. Uh, the pages were actually made into pins, so these are actually pins, um, which is super super neat. So all the pages are pins. Oops. Uh, all the suits are embroidered on top of different material. So the suit of pentacles is on this kind of burlapy fabric. You can just see the details. It's it's a lot. <laughs> it feels very homemade, and that's why I chose it from this prompt. Okay, moving on. The deck that makes you feel grateful. That would be my very first tarot ever. Uh, the Dragon's Tarot. And, you know, there's several reasons I'm grateful for this, uh, for this deck. First of all, it being my first tarot deck, I'm grateful to have been introduced to the tarot in a way that kept me intrigued for so long. Uh, in a way that made me want to delve deeper into the knowledge. It made me kind of just fall in love. I've since, you know, trimmed and edged it to try and make it look and feel a little newer. Um, but I'm also grateful because when I expressed an interest, uh, my mom, she took me to the local bookstore and bought me this deck. Uh, she also made me this bag. So I'm super grateful to have had her support. Not that we really talk about it, but you know, I wasn't shunned or it wasn't something I had to hide from, from my family. Uh, so, the Dragon Tarot. Lots of grateful feelings behind this deck here. The next prompt is your cozy deck. The deck you want to cozy up with, the deck you're super comfortable with. And for me, that is my Dreaming Way Tarot. I have spent a lot of time modding this deck, <laughs> and a lot of time reading this deck. And it just, look at that. It's a great example. <laughs> you know, the clothing and even when, you know, winter scenes are depicted, it just looks, it just looks so cozy. You know, the clothing, uh, everyone is rosy cheeked. Every single person. So it just makes me feel cozy. <laughs> and... That's all it is to it, I guess. It's it's one I can read with on a rainy day, a sunny day. It's just whenever I pull it out, I feel like I am in my blanket somewhere secure, cozy, and safe. That is the Dreaming Way Tarot. Next up is the Coming Home deck. So which deck do you have that feels like coming home? And for me, that is the Wild Unknown. This is the deck that got me back into tarot after a long spell of not reading it. It's one I have modified in that I've added some color to some cards. This one has brown on the outside. And this is just the deck that I can pull out at any time and have no problems getting something from it. Whether it be the direction of the lines or the touch of color, even if I'm not in the mood or whatnot, I pull out some cards from this deck and I always get something. You know, it doesn't leave me hanging. And in that way, I feel like this is the deck 
it that you know it feels like coming home it brought me back to the tarot and every time i go back to it i feel i feel that joy again of, of working with cards so a little wild unknown as over or underrated as it may be i absolutely love it the next prompt is your rainy day deck and for that i have chosen the white sage tarot it is very oops very um light watercolors it it's soft and it's just something i would love to pull out on a rainy day it it's a deck that helps bring me back to balance it uh gives you the chakras to work with What better to do on a rainy day than sit with a nice soft watercolor deck and focus on your chakras a bit. Yeah, so this is my rainy day tarot and just one of my favorites all around. Lastly, we have the Light Your Way deck. Uh, the deck that can, you know, bring you back out of darkness or bring you back onto your path or just help you through a rough time. There's honestly a lot of decks that can do that for me. Uh, but the first one that popped into my mind when I watched Don Michelle was my Golden Tarot by Cat Black. This is also one of my hug decks. It, it just, something about it. It's a collage medieval renaissance artwork and it can always, you know, if I'm in a bad mood, I look like I look at some of these cards and they just make me chuckle or when I don't know how to deal with something. I don't know. It just, it always lights my way. It might be because of the time period it depicts where people were doing their best to survive and you kind of get that feeling of hardship and perseverance maybe that's why it helps you know helps me through those rough times i'm not sure but definitely a favorite and it can definitely always light my way in the darkness all right well, thank you for joining me for this fun prompt. Uh, I'm looking forward to watching some other responses. So I'm going to have fun doing that now. And, uh, you know, take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.